Hello everybody. Um, today's online lesson is uh, Roast Office, the Te Uku Roast Office in Raglan. Um, as you can see, the photograph's pretty bad. Um, very cloudy day and not much light. It was quite a dull day. However, you can still see a few shadows. Um, very likely the lens on my camera was a bit grimy as it often is. So um, it's the way it is, you know, often you don't get the luxury of a, um, a photograph that you want. You ask any person who's a professional photographer and they'll, you know, tell you that they have to wait around for days and days and days and days to get the shot that they want. Um, so, and it's the same for painting. Um, I have painted on this location and um, the painting sold a long time ago. So um, I thought oh, well, I'll just do a little bit of a revisit of this. So my plan is to do a, a wee sketch for you. I've already done one here, but I'm going to do a bigger sketch for you. Um, and using the shapes from this really poor photograph, I don't think I've got a better photograph of it, unfortunately, but I will load this up for you um, so that you can take what you will from it. Um, and um, I think I will launch in. So at, I'm at the point of, I'll just get rid of some of this rubble here. I'm at the point of just sketching straight onto my watercolour paper. So I'm just going to pop that straight up get rid of that for a second we'll go over this soon pop that in there so that it doesn't um, distract me like things do and right here we go I'm just wondering if I can prop my board up a little bit more mm, let's have a crack at it oh yeah there we go Normally I do this little fiddly diddly thing. I think you can see it about the same. There we go. Um, and I need a sharpener. Where is it? There it is. And nothing to put my mess in. So I just have to do it here. I always like to start with a sharpish pencil. Um, with on Straight onto your watercolour paper, you can have a duller pencil, I think. It's not too much of a problem. But when I'm sketching, as you saw me whittling away at my pencils in one of my videos last week, for drawing, I like them quite sharp to start with. And of course, they get more and more blunt as they progress. Oh, I wonder what I've done with my glasses. Hmm. Here they are. Okay, let there be light. Woohoo! Right, that seems better. So I'm basically going to use a rule of thirds, which I'll go into a little bit more when I um, do that new little uh, sketch for you. And, um, okay, I'm just going to launch in. I think I might stand up. Hopefully I won't get in the way of the video. No, that's not going to work. Those glasses, boy, do they get filthy real quick. Okay, let's see how we go. This is just a quarter sheet of watercolour paper. I'm doing a cheap drawing, as I often do. And what I really want is just basic shapes. So you can see I've got triangles, I've got oblongs, here's another oblong. I'm just going to do a couple of little people in here because just to help me get with the program a little bit quicker. Ooh, okay. Okay. 
and I'm going to put a tree. There's no tree here, but I'm putting one in. Oops. And a little chimney, a little bit more detail. I don't want it in the middle of that. I want it a little bit above. Oh, it's only got one chimney pot, but I've done two. What a shame. Okie dokie. And I do want that telephone box in. Um, the other thing that I want that's a little bit harder to see ugh, is that there is a, um, I call them a cotton reel. I don't know what they are. Oh, you know what they're for? They're for the electrical cabling, the industrial cabling, those big cotton reel things. And there's one right in there that they use as like a, a bar leaner. Um, so I'm going to do this and see if I can get it to work. Keeping it to basic shapes. I know that's what it looks like as a, um, a silhouette. Um, and I'm not really into the realism of it. Um, mm, I just have to work out how I'm going to explain that to you. Okay, so I want that telephone box in, I think. I'm going to put that in there. I don't want to leave a gap there. And again, we're all about squares and oblongs and triangles. Now, I sort of feel like this, it, it, this is very flat. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit dull and boring. So, this green um, side of the building, that's a gas station there. And it's quite close to this building. I haven't been there for a little while. Um, but I'm going to exaggerate. I'm going to ex exaggerate the size and the height of it. And the reason I'm going to do that is simply because I think my painting it needs something to give it a little bit of a height. Cool. And then also I'm going to put the sign in. I'm not going to call it Waitomo, but I, and I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't, maybe I'll just put fuel in there or coffee, maybe. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, I don't like to leave, I don't like to make all the decisions up front. I like to have a few little, oh, this should happen, you know, um, some little serendipitous little ideas that um, I feel work really well for me um, and people have to make that decision for themselves whether it's going to work for them or not but that's what I think for me just needing to make that a little bit bigger because I want to put their sign in as well not that I'll get all those words in and nor do I want to either um, so mm, just you know See how we go. There's a couple of wee street signs and bits and pieces, you know, like a, um, I don't actually know, because this is the school here. This is the um, the school car park. So there will be some signs for like no entry or no parking or something. So maybe what I could do is um, overlap something. Hmm. And then a flower bed coming down here. Not interested in the cars. Maybe I, you know, might be a good or a bad decision. I don't know. Uh, that's in the wrong spot. I will get rid of it. Um, often I say to you don't use an eraser. Um, but the reason I use an eraser in this particular situation is because I'll follow the wrong line. Yeah, and then I get really annoyed.
I don't want to get too carried away with this, but I have to say, for some really dumb reason, I really love, got lost for a second, painting <laughs> these silly fences. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Bring out a little bit of an overlap again. Oh, it joins up there. Okay, and then maybe there's going to be a little bit of grassery and stuff coming along there. Okay, so I've got all the elements that I think I need. I'm a little bit annoyed that I've done two chimney pots, so I'm going to get rid of one. Right, rot, okay, sign, big sign, uh, I should put benzene in there, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, and I had thought also about a um, power pole. But have I gotten a bit carried away and caused myself some strife? What I have got compositionally at this point is a nice L shape, which is great because it leads the viewer's eye around the painting. Start at the top, come down, and woof across. Make this into a you know a little bit of an interesting tree. Hopefully, add some more trees here and there. Um. And maybe I've gone a bit carried away and can't put that power pole in now. Maybe I've done too much. You know what the really cool thing is about working out, we have put, talked about this briefly in class, I think, is what detail to draw onto your watercolour paper and what to leave out. And it's not always an easy thing. For me... It's all about leaving out the stuff that I know I'm going to have to leave or should leave to the very last minute. And that's not very easy because you like people with me with sticky fingers can't keep their hands off it. Um, and the detail is just, I really love putting in that detail. And I'm sure some of you feel the same way that I do. Um, but, okay, so I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I would deliberately leave to the last. I would leave the, um, um, on the signs, the, the white signs, I probably wouldn't, I'd just paint straight through them and just leave, paint around the square, yeah? of the sign paint around this ignore the um whatever that is the, the thing that holds the sign up there must be a name for it i just don't know what it is things like a power pole um i would leave to the end um those flowers i would leave to the end but i would work quite hard to leave a lot of white which is going to be a bit of a miracle you know me i've got sticky fingers and not only that i'm a little bit heavy-handed um and um there are two ways of doing this fence um you can see in the photograph that it's actually quite a dark value um the toss up for me would be would i do a white a painted white fence um i've already got a white building so maybe i'm going to need to have a darker fence around here to make the white of the building pop out a little bit more so there's my answer isn't it i'm going to leave that fence to the the last minute effectively um things like the wires the power lines uh, from the power pole to the building last thing um a couple of these little things like these like i suppose oh no that's i don't really know what that is but there's things on rooftops in New Zealand like um, Ajax valves and stuff like that, which are kind of interesting because they break the monotony of a, you know, a long flat roof or, you know, a roof that's just all one colour. I look at the roof here 
it's just all one color and it's just because of the direction of the light there's just no um nothing interesting about the lighting at all this is a little bit darker in here a little bit of a shadow comes so obviously the light's coming from here some description or maybe it's even high it's probably coming down like that um it's not really that so it's obviously coming from quite high above because look at the shadows of the cars the shadows of the cars are pretty much directly right underneath the cars so there's there's our little answer um, I thought about painting it from this direction because where I took this photograph is um, where I was standing when I painted it the first time, which was would have been a few years back. Um, so anyway, on to this thing about detail. So um, even things like the text on the sign, last thing to do, I wouldn't do those. Even this wiring, it's like a conduit valve not a conduit valve a conduit thing is that what they call it where they feed the wires up and i suppose it protects them from possums i don't know why they would do that um so anyway um that's what i think i'm going to do the little people they're going to stay little i have done a wee sketch here of them only because um it helps me to keep things within the right proportions there are a certain number of things that for me that I have to do I just have to clean these glasses um, oh for a minute there I thought I wasn't recording I was just about to have a panic <laughs> okay so um that's my sketch maybe I'll need a um, seagull or something because she's not that far from the sea here in Tiuku but anyway we'll have a think about it okay and we'll talk again in a few minutes talk to you soon bye